This is the Podcraft, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. Today, episode 11 for September 28th, we'll feature uh, beers from Modern Times and The Answer. <sighs> I like them. This is the Podcraft, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. I'm your host, Chris. Here's your host, Charlie. How you doing? We got Steve, tech guy Steve. Yeah, I'm here. Steve! So uh, today we're going to um, we're gonna talk about a couple of beers, uh, a couple of sour beers, Charlie. It's, I'm, uh, I'm excited about sour this. Sour beer day. Yeah. So uh, we, got, we got a beer from Is Modern it Times. international or national? Uh, I'm going to say it's international. All right. Or I national. like it. I like it. We'll, we'll get some, uh, we'll get a little research done on that, but it's sour beer day. Yeah. Uh, so with that. Get uh, one of our many helpers here to. Uh... Oh, that's open now. There oh, you go. I love this opener. I'm so real you. quick before we get, uh, before we get started uh, to connect with the show and get all the show notes and uh, links to everything that we mentioned on the show, uh, just go to www.thepodcraft.com. Uh, the website contains links for the pod, uh, for, uh, to help. I, I, yeah, Blank. no. The website contains links to your uh, to the podcast of your choice, huh? Hey, the platform I'm gonna, that you. I'm going to pour a beer, make you feel yeah, better. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I literally like. I um. Yeah, there it is. Uh, links to help. Uh, uh, photos of the beers that we consumed. Links to the breweries and more details on the beers we mentioned. Okay, I uh, just head to thepodcraft.com. I'm pouring this up right now. So, what's this first beer, Charlie? This is Rowing Needles from Modern Times Blackberry Raspberry. Sour. It is a sour. A little Berliner, huh? Definitely. A, I remember a very it. available beer, right? And not not any longer. Oh. So that uh, that beer came out uh, about three years ago hmm. uh, from from Modern Times, and it was they just released. It, I think only that one time. It was a hit, that's for sure. At least in my backyard. It was yeah. <laughs> that was probably my first Berliner that I was. Uh, Excited uh, about, yeah, super excited about. Yeah, well, because Doug got it, man. It's good. I mean, it smells about, like syrup. Does it? Yeah, it's a little. That's a little like vinegary, little, little acidic. I think sort of cranberry more than yeah. I don't whatever think berries so. was it. What did I say? Raspberry and what? Um, raspberry and blackberry. Yep, raspberry and blackberry. But maybe it's the age. I, I think it's know. the age. We uh, found it. Yep. Fouled it right off. I'd drink it. I'll still drink it. I'm not afraid. There's Never two things I'm not, little, uh, right? Yeah, the um gosh, that was a phenomenal beer when it uh when it first came out. It was um just super super vibrant. I remember it being much redder mm -hmm. and more of a creamy consistency rather than this uh pale red looking Yeah, that one's on the ropes. Little, uh, definitely drinkable though. It's got a little more tart than it used to. Yeah. Little bit more. <laughs> I, I'm taking it. You're not enjoying it as thoroughly mm. as I am. I don't think, um, it is, it is all right. It just, I, I remember drinking it when we, uh, I remember how good I thought it was. That was just phenomenal. Maybe you've just had a lot better. Could be. You know, Since that was, yeah, that was a couple of years ago. We were highly changes. influenced at that point. Highly influenced. You know that that at the same time that Star Metal came out, though, yeah. I thought I, I I thought that was probably a little bit better than than Star Metal at that point. Yeah, uh, or right there with them. You know, they were both. Uh, well, that phenomenal. can I popped the other day was definitely better than this. Yeah, that, that and that can was was a lot better. That Star Metal. Well, you know, so I deduct my palate probably hasn't changed as much. You only as know so. what you know, right? That's right. But yeah, I'll drink it. I'll finish this off for us. I mean, I'm not afraid. It's a uh, uh, 10 IBUs, and the final gravity is 1.008. Is that the uh, is that the last bottle you have of that? I think I have one more. Do you? One more, which I'll probably save till nobody really cares, <laughs> and see how that turns out. Can't get any better or any worse, probably. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, it's not bad. Not bad. It's not, it's not the greatest beer I've ever tasted, but it's not the worst either. Yeah, so. no, it's, I, I would say though, you know, and, and it just had me thinking, you know, because like, um, 
I, I have quite a bit of beer in, in my fridge. You know, occasionally I'll grab something that I'm, you know, I'll take a few drinks of and I'm like, that one's, you know, that's going down the drain. It's drain pour, right? Yeah. Past, your, past its prime. Right. And we just haven't had anything. Like we, uh, you know, all of the beers that we've had here have been uh, phenomenal. Well, I don't think I, I would so pour far. that down the drain. I probably wouldn't pour it down the drain, but it's right. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's closer. not as... It's, it's closer to going down the drain than that last episode's most tones was. <laughs> yeah, well, that went down my drain. That's what it went down exactly. my mouth. That's what it went down. That was a choice beverage. But, the, you know, gosh. I mean. It's got some age on it. Yeah. I think the, uh, um, I, I do like been, to drink it and reminisce of. Uh, maybe it should have been in the fridge. Instead of where, where was it out buried in your backyard? Yeah. Yeah, I had a little, little uh, spot I have, a little shed i have dug in the ground out there underneath the pond what do they call that when you put your uh you dig a dig a hole to put all your crazy yeah <laughs> like to put all your, your food in when you're in the alaskan oh, wilderness oh, that stuff What's yeah that called they uh you, like a, you got me um, yeah i don't know I don't i'm know. not a i'm not a uh alaskan build them and put that it's not even in alaska i think you can do it anywhere root cellar i think is what it's called uh, well right? isn't it that's, I don't know why I thought That's Alaska. what they have back east. I mean, yeah. it's a cool spot. Yeah, you, you can't know? do one out here? No, a jacuzzi's 105, so. <laughs> <laughs> the, this, this tastes like you might have been storing it in the bottom of that jacuzzi. It's possible, no, it's but, not. I mean, I've drank it in jacuzzi before, but I haven't, uh, I haven't stored it. It's actually growing on me a little bit. It smells great, though. Like, it smells super, super good. I'm not getting the smell at all. I'm just a... Oh, really? You smell much. It? I Come smell up. it a lot. It's I nice. always get nervous when people tell me they can't smell anything <laughs> in these day and age. <laughs> and have a small cough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little dry cough and I can't smell anything. I'm feeling mm. great. Can't taste anything either, but <laughs> but it's, it's like two things I'm not, scared and responsible. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah, that. Uh, so on, on that note, what uh, what was that other beer that you grabbed, Charlie? <laughs> Then I grabbed it. Hey, did you uh, get any good beers this week? Uh, wait a minute. None that were memorable. Oh. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Mm, very well. <laughs> I think I stole that from somebody. I don't know who. Yeah. Yeah. I um. I don't think I had anything. Um. Got some plans though on some beers this yeah, week. I'm starting on some Oktoberfest beers. After oh, yeah. that last one, you know, got me thinking about it. So, did yeah. you try one of those ones I gave you? No. But I, I bought that big jug that they had at um, Costco with the big polyanner. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. 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 Oh, St. Pauli Girl? Yeah. No, it's um, polyanner. The Meechin beer. Yeah, the. From um, Oktoberfest beer. Who was. Somebody had. I think the Vale back in Virginia is having. They have one of those little small kegs that they're selling. They were selling for Oktoberfest. Yeah. It was pretty impressive. I, you know, if I could run back there and grab one, I would, but. It's a, lot, it's a little out of my distance for yeah. travel today. We had some brats from Seaside. Yeah. Or you? Carter, you guys go up there Carter quite a crack, bit, huh? Carter Craft crack for uh, dinner last night. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, if you're going all the way up there, you got to go to Tip Top. Yeah. Try that out. Well, I'm not going up there. Somebody else is. Who did? It's another mule. <laughs> got, yeah. It's the, the, the meat <laughs> mule. Your meat mule. <laughs> I, 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 hey, she came through for me once. Yep. All right. Well. Yeah, that was the last time I think I had the, uh, I think, the crack. I think we make. Speaking of crack, I think I'm gonna crack this one right here. What do you uh, What do you got over there? This is the answers, um, and it's called Apes Banana. Ugh. I can't read that word. Apes Banana Colada Swirl Sickle. Yes, that's it. So that's uh, that's a fruit beer, right? Obviously, it is. They're um... wait. Let me tilt this on its side and pour it. So one of their. You might want to go over the. Uh... Oh, see, I have no problems pouring. Did you did you turn that the quarter turn as you were instructed? I went three quarters because I like to go above and beyond. So the um, so this is a collabs with uh, Apes Curious Confectionaries, uh, banana white chocolate pina colada is what. Yeah, uh, is yeah what from here it looks like a smoothie. <laughs> it <laughs> it <is>. certainly <laughs> does. Yeah. So, crowler of uh, of banana colada, swirlsicle. This will do you good. Mm. It it's smells great wonderful. Note. Yeah, for sure. Oh, goodness. Got a lot of banana in there, huh? Banana. It's in the name. Man, that is great. Dreamy. Good night. That I would have 
I would have drank four of those rowing needles just to get to this one. <laughs> Man. That, <laughs> I feel like when you walk through the desert. This is, I've had this for a couple of weeks. What's Man. the date on that thing there? Uh, Seven. Okay. So August 7th. So well, I've had fun. it for a little while. But I mean, it's, oh, it's still great. delish. Yeah. Unless it's European dating. No, it's not Saturday, European. Saturday, July 8th. I got nothing European on to me. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah. The answer, I, I'm always impressed. Every time I crack one of those, I'm I'm, I'm kind of mind blown. Oh. I think, um, you know, the whole smoothies, like I think. Did you? I just tried some. What do you think? It's great. Yeah. yeah it's phenomenal. Did you guys crack that can again? No, I'm still waiting for what? a perfect time. It's the, the night your kids are all gone is the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to go pick them up. That's right. the best part. Yeah. I popped, uh, I popped mine. Game over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was wow. a solo shot. No, I uh, popped one of them uh, with a buddy of mine, my manager, when he was in town. Cool. The um, he probably hated it. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's a fan. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's a fan. I think you know. I think these are better than uh, than the four fifties. I think they are. To be honest with you, four fifty gets there. They've got crazy stuff. Some people really like those, like the graham crackers and. Uh, s'moresy stuff the chunks in there i'm not a big fan of that yeah there was one that was an apple pie and i it just didn't hit right i had that peach cobbler one a couple years ago which was like mind-blowing i just like their like their regular fruited ones are Mm -hmm. pretty decent you know like dragon fruit or or yeah whatever they got you know i think it's i got three of them left and two of them are some sort of pastry of some sort involved in their beer which you know I know there's people that like that. That's great. It's just not my thing. But these, I have never been disappointed with one of these growlers. Yeah. Never. I mean, they're just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. No, they're great. They're, um, yeah, 32 ounce growler, huh? Yeah. Big one. So that's a uh, tough growler to, to finish by yourself. I tried to do one of those on a Zoom <sighs> conference. Or no, we had a, a, a Zoom uh, a happy hour with, oh, some guys, okay. with some guys around the country, mm-hmm. and uh, I popped that as as the first beer. That was a that was a tough go. You got halfway through it, and three people showed up to help you. Yeah, drink it. yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, "Oh, that looks great." You know, I'm like, "Oh, it's it's outstanding." You know, at the at about 24 ounces, I was like, "Man, <laughs> I got to get off here." <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I'm going to bed. For I say something I shouldn't. <laughs> had a brain freeze from drinking it too fast. Oh man. Just the fruit flavor in this thing is just outstanding. And it is. It tastes like a pina colada. It looks it like a pina colada. Does. Yeah. You know, I was really expecting it to be super banana forward. And I, I mean, you can definitely taste the banana. Yeah. But I was uh, that. I was a little one, nervous. The first one I had, mm-hmm. I thought I was going to get that too. And yeah. I, you know, in the first drink, I was like, mm, there's a lot of banana in there. Just yeah. like you said. Then after that, you could feel the rest of it coming through the pina colada part where it's. Very sweet and very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, I was a little nervous. Uh, you know, how's banana going to come to? I see you shaking over there. Not a big banana fan. Terrified but almost. That's a phenomenal beer. Yeah. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to drink it and not talk about it. There you go. It looks really good in your Etsy glasses. Yeah. It look sure at that. Does. Especially in this one because it was more colorful. Yeah. That's a. Uh, you got the blue. I got the red or the yeah, it's like red. tan. Red. red? It's red. That's yeah. So red. these are those, uh, the glasses that you got from, uh, Etsy. Etsy. Yeah. Just, glass de- just, just glass designs from Clovis, New Mexico. Love that name, Clovis. Just rolls right off your tongue. This beer is great. Yeah, it's it's not a beer, though. <laughs> no, it's totally not a beer. <laughs> okay. Steve's, heavy. Steve's barely even sniffed his. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly not a, you know, I, it's not a beer. Like, when I was, uh, you know, I was at a brewery a few weeks ago, and, and the, uh, um, I was picking up some, I was picking up that forager beer and this, uh, the, the girl that was sitting, um, you know, a couple seats away from me, uh, at, at the, at the bar was, while I was waiting for these crawlers to be filled, she's, uh, she's like, Hey, do you have any beer that tastes like beer? Right. <laughs> Which the guy's <laughs> like, oh, that's a novel thought. Like, yeah, you, you know, what? You, you want a beer that tastes like beer? Did you say, uh, yeah, here's a, here's a bud. Yeah, so he gave her the old dad bod, yeah, you know, or whatever, whatever it was. Have you, like probably my favorite beer name. Have you ever, have you ever, uh, you ever tried that uh, Montucky Cold Snacks? Mm-mm. Have you ever heard of it? Nope. Because I've had them it. and they're fantastic, and they they do their thing. They're just a regular beer, and it's it's um, I mean, it's legit. It's like it's like you would uh, get a lager or something from Bottle Logic. It's I guess it's a um, 
I think it's a, a lager or something like Who that. Who makes it? Montucky Cold Snack. Montucky Cold Snack. So you're going to have to look that up, but I can't tell you exactly where it's from. My kids uh, had it in um, in Vegas, and then they were at the Zombie Beer Fest, too. And I was like, I love you guys, man. You guys, I'll drink one of your beers, and then I'll drink three more beers, and I'll drink one of your beers. Because it's like, cleans the palate, you get your flavor back, boom, you hit another beer. Yeah, so it's a lager. Yeah, thought it was. Oh, yeah, it says uh, uh, from Bozemont, Montana. Yeah, just Bozeman. Wander. Bozeman. Is it, what did I say? Bozeman? Yeah. It's close to Bozeman. Bozeman. Just That's outside of Bozeman. Bozeman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Montucky Cold Snacks. And they got a great uh, label. And uh, I've never been there, but hey, I'm a fan. That's what I would drink with this. Just to flavor up. Just to clear that palate. Mm. Yeah, that's a good beer. That's a really good beer. Good call on that one, Charlie. That's mine. Yeah, mine's on the back end as well. Delish. You have to rinse down here a little bit. Oh, yeah, Steve doesn't like it at all. No. <laughs> we're, we're living on the edge, dude. Yeah, let me see this can here. I want to I look at... Um, because they had something, uh, some issues with uh, percentage, ABV percentage. So we're at, uh, looks like uh, 7.58 or 3. I can't see. It's kind of blurry. That's Eight's my. Uh, banana colada. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Is it 7.58 7. or 7.53? Yeah, that's a good beer. Doesn't say, huh? Um, I'm not seeing it here. 7.56. There you go. 6, 8, 3, whatever. They're all numbers, right? Yeah, that's a yeah, good call on that one. Well, they were having an issue with, you know, people. Well, 450 got started with the jamming up on that, which is ridiculous. But I think they were having a little issue, too. So we'll see. Were they, uh, there, yeah, there's just, we, I think we referenced that earlier was, um, you know, now they, now they actually put their, their numbers out after they send the, uh, uh, they send their beers to the lab to have them, uh, have them verified. So they're, uh, yeah, they're they, certain that the, they do, but I mean, now that you got somebody started on, you know, the interweb jumping your, your stuff because you, you know, put something out that you said it was something and it wasn't what it was. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. You know, they corrected it. It's not a problem anymore. So somebody got a batch that was, you know, under what they said it was. So they freaked out. Right. And, you know, I mean, they were, you'd say that they were 8% you're drinking. And you're like, man, how is this anything more than 3%? Yeah. Well, and it is and, and it was 4% three, right? you know, at, the, at the reality point. But you know what? You got a problem with that. You got a problem. So did they make that the – brewer makes that call and then they at some point they'll do a test of something I think they, well, they do they, they send it to a lab and they do the testing so yeah they were they were just calculating their own ABV not taking into account the um uh, or or thinking I, I I mean I guess they they expected it to, right. to have an higher ABV uh-huh. than than it actually did right. with, the, with the fruit mm-hmm. not fermenting uh, okay so the right. um but yeah there was there was a big uh brew haha you're gonna have to uh, drink that right out of the bottle, I think. So we got our um, we got our fi- <clears throat> our final beer here, Charlie. It's our uh, uh, Moxa, party. our little after potty beer. Uh, so it's a, a Moxa Marvelous. Uh, this is a barrel aged stout uh, with uh, meadow foam, honey, vanilla beans, coconut, aged in bourbon barrels. This is a uh, uh, Moxa uh, membership uh, bottle. Um, that we uh, we acquired through a trade. Well, this is my first Moxa Stout. Is it? Yes. Yeah, you've had some uh, some of their cans. Yeah, I was generously giving some given some by a uh, personal friend of mine. You? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they um, they do it I'm right. A fan. I'm a fan of their stouts. You know the um, I've only had a couple of their. Uh, a handful of their of their barrel aged beers. Um, waiting on that Horus, that pastry mode or pastry method. Just uh, that name brings smells of nuts and vanilla <laughs> to mind. <laughs> give me your 
Give me your thoughts. So this is just a straight barrel? Yeah. Of, of a of an imperial stout. So there's yeah. no No, there's uh coconut, honey, oh, okay. and did it say almonds, I think? When you smell it, it's really barrel forward. It smells really I think you smell a lot of barrel. I do. So I smell I don't smell really anything. There's no like sense of like the vanilla or, or uh, coconut in there. I'm feeling I'm waiting to get your word off. But of when the you taste. take a drink of it, I think it's a really great I mean it's a great barrel flavor. It's not overpowering. Okay, I'm you get a in. nutty, nutty uh, back end. I'm diving in. Wow. What do that's, you think of that one? That's pretty, pretty good. Doggone good. Yeah. So you got metal foam, honey, vanilla. It's a beans. lot more mellow than the smell. Yeah, the it smells really boozy. Yeah, and uh, it certainly isn't isn't boozy. Uh, boozy seventeen percent. Is it? Yes. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, that's a seventeen percent stout there. That's no walk in the park. I'll tell you that. Yeah, no. That's, that's a nap in the park. Yeah, yeah, after that one, for sure. That's not a solo drink, either. I mean, you can't do that by yourself. I mean, you could. I mean... Nighty, nighty. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be sleeping. <laughs> You'd be really... But, yeah, okay. it's... I'm feeling it just by sniffing. Yeah, you, you, get, <laughs> yeah. you get the contact there, huh? I yeah, it's really good. I, you know, I, I don't know if I taste the honey in there. I mean, it's I, just look, the sweetness. You know what? Like I say, when, when it gets, like, to a point... Yeah. When you... Drink it, and you just get a rush of like molasses flavor. Yeah, you know there's a ton of sugar in there, right? Yeah, it is sweet, huh? It's not over the top. Though. I mean, it, it, it smells super boozy, but the uh, I mean, honey is it's like way at the end. You get a sweet ending to it, but I wouldn't say that I'm I'm taste well. You know, there it is at the end. I mean, seriously, it's doing its thing. I like it. Yeah, that's a really um, good it's beer. It's not real sticky on the glass. It is a little bit, a little viscosity there, but it's not like drenching the sides, you know, and hanging on. No lace, no no foam, no, you know, nothing out of the, yeah, out of the can, any out of the bottle, I mean. No head. No. So what they uh, what they say is made, made exclusively for the uh, the Moxa 2020 uh, advocators. This imperial stout takes coconut beers to another level. This beer started off as an imperial stout with meadow foam honey that was aged in larceny ten year old wheat whiskey barrels for wow. fourteen months. Post barrel, we then treated the beer with over one pound per gallon of raw coconut and 0.5 pounds per barrel of vanilla. Big notes of whiskey are balanced out by the creamy coconut vanilla combo. Reminds us of the coconut caramel girl scout cookie yes i'm gonna say yes to that what do they yeah, call those ones? super subtle Which, huh? what, cookie, what cookies are those is it the samoas no no is that the coconut ones i thought it was no there's ones with coconut but they don't they're not samoas are they i thought they were dang it i'm not up on my girl scout back beers. when i was a girl scout that's what they were <laughs> yeah they threw you out after you grew that beard <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says Girl Scout Samoa cookies. Is it, it says, really? Uh, okay, and then it's homemade Samoa. Right. You know what I was thinking? It tastes just like those Girl Scout Samoa cookies. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Did they change the name? The Caramel Delights ah. look like Samoas. Were packaged like a Samoa, but they were not called Samoas. There you go. I knew something was up. That's a little brownie. Dang Girl Scouts, troublemakers, every one of them. I think that's the. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the deal there is, but. Um, that's a good. That's if they a, were uh, selling this on the corner, I'd be getting boxes of it. <laughs> that's a good beer. It's a really good beer. Uh, it's but, delicious. Yeah. So the uh, membership only uh, only bottle on that. Uh, so the uh, limited release. So you knew somebody. One you knew done. somebody, right? Um, I got a couple friends that are that are Mox members up there. That's nice. So you guys trade back and forth. Yeah, I send them uh, Horace normally, and then um, you know, some modern times stuff. Nice. But yeah, mainly. Uh, they're, yeah, they're big fans of Horace. Know, I wanted to make it on my last trip. I was going to cut across to Northern or Middle California there and jump into Mox and see if I could grab some beers, but uh, that didn't work out. So yeah, I'd really like to check it out. You know, because I've I've had a couple of friends. Uh, well, Steve, you've been there. Yeah, I have. Um, you know, and I've, I've had <laughs> shocker. Some, uh, yep. Wow. Yeah, Steve, Steve. Steve grew up right. Yeah, down I grew up right down the street. I didn't know that. Yeah. From in Rockland. No. That's well, it? I was in Roseville. Okay, that's right. Yeah, down right the street, down the road. Right, huh? right, right, right. Yes. Wow. Um, yeah, they. Uh, you know, I've heard kind of uh, some some mixed reviews. I, I, my buddy in Sacramento, the first time he went, wasn't wasn't super impressed with the the tap room staff. 
Uh, but but he, you know, since then, I think he's gotten to, gotten to know him and, and has had some better experiences. But um, the uh, yeah, so I'd like to check it out. I'd like to do it. Let's do a road trip. See if we can see if we can butt our nose in there and say, "Hey, you mind if we do a podcast here?" <laughs> there, uh, yeah, there. Uh, got a friend who who knows one of the guys there. Perfect. So we're in. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll see about that. Yeah, so that's a great beer to uh, to end it. Uh, so delicious. Uh, once again, uh, you know, please uh, head on over to thepodcraft.com dot uh, com for all links from uh, and pictures of the beers that we talked about today. Uh, to help you subscribe to our podcast on on the platform of your choosing. Um, anything else, Charlie? It's getting better. And warming up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I there. think I think the temperature is what does it for me. It's got to get to a certain level, and I'm I'm a uh, I'm not a cold stout drinker. Yeah. So I think I'm a like a 55, 55 degree at the most. But yeah, it's a lot of more a lot more flavors are rolling out of there now that it's warming up. I can smell more and I can taste more. So or yeah. maybe it's just me. I'm slow. Yeah. No. I. I it, it, it certainly. You know, as they warm up, you, you get more of the flavors, and and, uh, and I'm a fan of that. All right. All right. Well, like uh, we'll lot. we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.